Wow, I'm so surprised. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. So you might have noticed for the last six months or so, when someone asks on stream or on Twitter or Reddit or something, is Finn on HRT? I, uh, I just avoid the question. I avoid the question <laughs> entirely and make a little joke. And that's solely because recently I started HRT. Confetti. Woo -woo. It took a while to feel comfortable to make this video. Even now, I am very scared. <laughs> I don't know why, but I want so badly to be able to talk about stuff that I've been doing, and it's really hard to if no one knows. I want to talk about my life openly and all the amazing things that have happened. So it's kind of nervous excitement, I guess. I spent so many months scared and stressed out about trying to pick a label. I'm still not done yet. I still haven't figured absolutely everything out, but- Ooh, I love a specific label. Also, Miles, let's go. Happy six months on memberships. I appreciate that so much. I'm feeling comfortable enough to talk about it now. So wait, wait, does this mean you're a woman now? We'll get to that in a minute. We gotta do the serious bit nice, first. Nice. Why? <laughs> okay, well, honestly, this might this be a This editing is crazy, I love it. Bit controversial. I cross-dressed on Twitch for years. <laughs> After doing it for a meme, I wanted to explore my gender a bit more. People have been making egg jokes or saying I'm on HRT for years. And kind of because of that, a lot of the trans community started popping into streams or like seeing my videos or interacting with me. And that had never happened to me before. And I learned a lot. And um, some of it seemed a little bit too interesting. <laughs> it felt a bit like I uncovered a part of myself that I'd be purposefully just shutting down for as long as I can remember and never questioned why. I have this notes page on my phone from over a year ago now with a handwritten note of like pros and cons list of taking HRT. And when I went to go fill out Boobies? the cons list, there wasn't much I could come up with, so I started. Mm. Oh, also, I know it's stupid, but I wanted to say it. I did factor in the whole, like, I wonder if doing streaming and the money that's kind of attached to it mm. is the reason I wanted to do this. Nice, very introspective. Okay, good question. Is it warping my brain? I did think about that. I've streamed for years and it's been my entire life and I've made a lot of money off it. And I wonder if that's what's affecting me and make me want to do this. And it's not. This isn't exactly something I just decided, ah, this will be funny. And then did. <laughs> I am maybe the most risk averse person I knew and I was terrified, but I knew it's what I wanted. I just wanted to put that in there just so I'm not like in one of Blair White's thumbnails or something. So... <laughs> Poor Finn. That must be terrifying to end up on a Blair thumbnail. I mean, peace and love to Blair, but yeah, how exa exhausting. Friends? Gender? <laughs> okay, look, I think that's <sighs> gonna cause some debate and I don't wanna be the one to have it. I think the label that suits me best is gender fluid. Finster, to get ready to be a girl, puts on the feminine binary, but also is a femme boy. So he's performing femininity as a boy, as a man, which is different than a, being a trans woman who's reaffirming the binary and being a woman. But that's the problem. Like all of this is a construct based off the bubble. So it depends on who you're being reinforced by and who you're reinforcing it for yourself. And again, I love categorization. I want there to be a hundred ways to identify. I just want people to be honest with seeking out what their identity is. I don't want, you know how Finn is like, I'm not a trans woman. I think this is so important and, and amazing of him to be like, hey, don't miscategorize me. Because it's easy if you only have so many tools to miscategorize him. It is so easy to assume everyone's just a trans woman who's like Finster. But there are so many other labels. There's so many other ways to exist. There are so many other cultures and religions and spiritual practices. You do not have to choose one or two or five or six. There are thousands. You know what I mean? But look, whenever I tell Let's people go. about this- Let's go, gender fluid queen. I love a gender fluid person. I feel like I'm gender fluid. I think that's like an accurate term for how I feel about myself in some capacity on some spectrum. I thought so. I this is this was my guess with Finn that they would end up coming out as gender fluid because like I think that makes a lot of sense uh for him. I think it does. In real life, what I say is I just don't care. And if mm. you're going to be playing around with your expression And ultimately there is something about that. Like if I'm going to be very serious about pronoun conversations and gender conversations and that relationship you're having, it is so about you, the consciousness. It has nothing to do with other people's validation or their opinions. And then how you want to present to the public is how you want to play a game of being perceived, which again has nothing to do with the real you, which is why some people will say like, I really know you. I know the real you. You know the version of me that I've presented and that you have conversations with, which, yes, is a part of the real person, but is also a part of the part of me that I on purpose present to people. And so, again, like that relationship you're having with your gender and your consciousness, that's that's for you, girl. That is for you. That has nothing to do with anybody else. 
Ingrid says, see, I call that being gender non-conforming. Interesting. To me, gender non-conforming has more to do with being a part of the binary, but you express it differently. And gender fluid has to do with an internal compass that has to do with like how you feel about your consciousness. So I consider gender a part of the consciousness or even separate from it. And then I consider like non-conforming as the presentation that is associated with the already binary thing. So when I think about gender fluidity, it's about the relationship you're having on a spiritual level with the consciousness. You know what I mean? If I said I was just gender non-conforming, I, I don't think that would be accurate. Like for myself, like I think I was very gender non-conforming growing up. But as I've gotten older, I'm not, I'm less gender non-conforming, but I am gender fluid. So it feels different to me. Those things feel very, one is physicality, like how you dress. And then one is internal. And Finn is explaining an internal that presents physically, but all of us present physically anyways. But I think Finn is expressing an internal conversation with himself. Or gender, you shouldn't either. In 10 years, there's no way people are going to be making coming out videos. But I get this has been like a pretty big part of my content over the years as I slowly figured stuff out. So it's, it's nice. He, you know, they, you know, they didn't have to share. Didn't have to share. But I love that they chose to saying i feel really comfortable with who i am i'm so glad i got to this point with such like a supportive group of people i don't think anyone should feel pressured to come out and i get that i'm definitely like top of the tier list for this guy's probably trans <laughs> i just want to <laughs> be able to talk more openly about stuff the easiest thing would be to just and if finn, en finn ends up being a trans woman also great like it's a journey right not do this to, to keep cross-dressing forever but i want to change this guy's going to town on that nerf dot i want to get rid of the clickbait i can finally talk about the stuff that's been going on and i've got so many stupid jokes that i've kept in the twitter drafts that i can finally make <laughs> so fuck yeah <laughs> fuck i forgot about pronouns i guess i still prefer oh. he him but who knows they might change and that's kind of half the fun anyway i didn't mm. mention this for so long just because i do still the text on the bottom said going by any pronouns though will feel like you know, boy. I waited so long because I wanted a label for people to attribute to me other than just guy on HRT. I was just really scared of people making what I'm doing into like some sort of political thing or- Fair, so fair. Because like, again, this is the space I'm gonna create for you guys. Politics sucks. Finn's fear is my fear that you guys are gonna hear me talk and think I'm talking politically. I don't give a fuck about your politics. I'm talking about your humanity. So this fear that Finn has, I share. I do not wanna talk about politics. Politics ruins everything. It ruins introspection. It cock blocks your wisdom. It absolutely has nothing to do with growing as a humanity, right? It claims to, but has no idea what it even is, right? Just look how ugly like Twitter politics is. So this space, I'm going to create this space to say, talk about you, okay? Talk about what it is to be a person outside of politics because politics is not, does not care about your humanity, Yippie says, I love this open space. I could never talk about gender in such an understanding and curious way with people I know in real life. Exactly. Because they probably make it political to some extent. Ooh. Or just debating my reasoning to exist. And I am just here to be me. <laughs> <laughs> but there is one more thing. Also, I'm bi. I like dudes. That's Oh. Great. I love that. Weird to say. <laughs> Everything I say feels like a bit now. God damn it. I know there's going to be a million questions and I can't wait to hear them, but it's just, I am really bad at this. So I'll see you on Twitch. Thanks for watching. <laughs> this is probably the most important video I'll ever make. Oh, fucking amazing. Thank you, babe. <laughs> I didn't expect you to actually do that. I'm going to do this. <laughs> you realize the only reason why I'm doing any of this is. Is that Finn's mom? Who is that? Because you raised me vegetarian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. As I said to you about three minutes ago, I never wanted to serve. I blame you. <laughs> they should. It's all those apples. It is. <laughs> it is. It's too many fruits and veggies and not enough red meat. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, cute. That's so lovely. I love that. What a good journey. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Again, words are constructs, so we create them, and then every bubble associates what that word means with some sort of context. So obviously, like, we don't know in every conversation what anyone means by anything until we understand the context, and then we ask questions for clarification, right? So everyone's going to have a different relationship with what words mean and then what they mean when people identify with them. You know what I mean? 
Um, <clears throat> so again, we're asking like what shade of blue are we when we're having conversations about like what label works for you, right? So Discord says, is there a distinction between gender fluid and gender queer? From my understanding, there is a distinction, but the distinction is how in which bubble communicates using those words. So gender fluid, I think, could apply to straight people, but gender queer would be more for the queer community, but could and uh, does relate to gender. Because again, like gender doesn't dictate who you're attracted to. Right? So gender, queer, gender fluid, I'm not sure of the distinctions in every community, but from my understanding, gender queer has more to do with like who you're attracted to and gender fluid does not have to do with like how you identify gender wise, right? Halion says, just finished the Tom trial video and whoo, I'm exhausted. Girl, I was exhausted yesterday. Girl, I'm exhausted. Oh, and that's another thing. You know what I love about this community is like when we're reviewing people's content, we're not reviewing whether the people in the content are like evil or something. Who has time for that? We're reviewing what that means for like larger society or for our larger lives. What does it mean when we reflect uh, upon our own actions? What category are we in? You know, I think I love that too. Like when Finn says like, I'm worried people are going to make this political. Yeah, yeah. Because politics is that thing that stifles introspection and it doesn't humanize you. You're not humanized through politics. And I think that that's what I definitely want to avoid in this space as much as possible, you know. Joe says they just feel like they're doing everything to present as a woman, but they still like he, him. Um, well, that would insinuate that the way you know people are women is if they have nails and long hair and dresses. But none of that has to be, none of that makes you a woman. So you could say Finn dresses more feminine. Uh, and you could even say he dresses like a woman. But I could, you could also just say he dresses like himself. Because gender, you know, clothing is only gendered for marketing purposes, realistically. You know what I mean? And so in the West, we're seeing it the way you're seeing it. But I personally would argue that Finn is just dressing like themselves with a feminine focus um, more than trying to look like a woman. But maybe they're trying to look like a woman. Maybe he is trying to look like a woman. I don't know. I don't think it matters, right? So I, I think there's something about that, you know, that matters. Ingrid says, I'm going to call myself genderless because gender, a gender sounds stupid. Just like how I use the bisexual flag colors despite being pansexual because the pan flag is ugly to me. I mean, hey, fair. Fair. Beza says he's not in girl mode 100% of that time, right? No, he's not. It's for stream. Uh, in his regular life, he often dresses just like in pants and a shirt, you know, like this. Uh, I don't think you guys can see the screen anymore. But like he usually just dresses. I mean, it depends, right? Like what event he's going to. You know what I mean? Yeah, Jeffree Star does still. Yeah, Jeffree Star is a man. Very feminine, right? Jeffree Star, very feminine. Though Jeffree doesn't wear a lot of dresses or skirts, does. Jeffree wears pants, right? Jeffree's into like the latex pants. Oh, very interesting in terms of presentation. Who are we talking about? We're talking about Finster. Finster came out, which is we love to see it. So good for good for him. Whatever the journey is, I love it. You know, I think when we're talking about these things, you know, again, we want to create a space where it's possible to have the actual conversation about the consciousness and their journey versus the one that we think we can be having. Like example, those those parents who had the trans kid and they were like, why don't people think we want to take care of our kid properly? And it's like, well, because you're misgendering them and you're literally saying no matter what, being trans isn't real. And I'm OK with the fact that their kid might not be trans, but the fact that you're saying it's never going to be a real experience is why I'm looking at you like – because you're discounting proven time and time again that the trans experience is a real experience. And by the way, all experiences are real experiences. You believe in a God. They're literally Christians. Can you imagine again, people who believe in an invisible God lecturing you about what is real? That's the reality we live in. We live in a world where people who believe in God actually get to pretend that they're closer to reality than other people. I love that. That's beautiful. In my head, in real life, I'm in bed. My belly's being fed, and I'm okay. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine. Not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense. I've been nothing but blessed.
So what's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking. Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth and living life as a fool. Dun, 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 dun.